I feel like he's gonna cut his hand in half. <laughs> Did you steal that from Corona? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to cut my cigar, dude. That's just probably dull as hell. I mean, you know, it'll cut through a leaf. Uh, beautiful. Cut the dude. cap off. You are tuning in to the Cigar Guys podcast, where aficionados and newcomers alike gather to explore the vast cigar universe. Meet your host. Alexander Gonzalez, Mark Nikolai, his big little brother Zachary Nikolai, and Jared Burroughs. So sit back, light up, and let's get the conversation started. But first, a quick word from our sponsors. That's a fake katana, that's not real. What do you mean? This was a, uh, this was hand, hand carved. Like, there's no curve in the blade. <laughs> Still kill you the same. Yeah. You have to, you have to work it in. I remember when we were kids, we thought that was real. <laughs> you have to oh, work I, it let me, let me go get my lighter. <laughs> so they call this the uh, the stone stance. I'm just I'm just learning this. I'm just learning this. <laughs> and this is called the water stance. And that's all I got so far. That's pretty good. You're big, uh, big Katana guy now? Yeah, this one's a little small for me. Let me see. Where's the broken one? Do you have the broken one out here or not? No, no. Okay. Yeah, I, I could I could fuck somebody up with this. Well, I mean, there's already dried blood on there, so you don't. Have to... I think that was for me, to be honest. <laughs> this was Zach cutting a cigar. No, I, no, we no, were playing there around is, with this there one. Is dried blood Actually, on there. could you? We were playing around with this one time, and um, like a little bit. You can see it. All you right. see the scar right here. You see the scar right here. Are you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> Don't, don't reopen the cigar. No, no, but you see that scar right there? Yeah. Me and my cousin Justin were playing with it, and it, like, fell inside my hand. It cut my hand. So you and another grown man were playing with the <laughs> playing with the sword, and you cut yourself. I mean, we were kids. We were grown men. <laughs> you were grown kids. It's all right. They're related. So me and my cousin were sword fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this makes it all right. <laughs> Knees sure. are weak. Arms are heavy. It is hot out here. It's okay, brother. So let's get let's get through this. All right, let's do it. What are you talking, Mike? Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of the Cigar Guys. Uh, we are out in remote Albania again, um, just hot hanging is. out. It's a beautifully hot day. Um, it looks good. Doesn't feel good sitting in it, but. We'll get through it. Mark, what are you smoking? I am smoking a Tristan uh, Lucius. Is that really what it's called? L-U-C-I-U-S. There's an S on the end. Yeah. Why? I, interesting. I didn't notice that. We, we, we maybe it's it. Lucius. Lucius, maybe. Lucius sounds better. <laughs> Does it, though? I what feel like it just makes more sense if it's Lucius. Who sees us? Lou. Who's Lou, Lou sees us? Who the hell is Lou? What are you smoking? <laughs> I'm smoking the Tristan Habano. We don't right. have to argue the uh, pronunciation of that one. Jerry, what are you smoking? Where's the bond? I'm smoking the uh, base of Maduro. Interesting. Tell us more. Well, it's the one and only, the tried and true. The best of the best. The Sultan of Tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> hey, those were good names, but you didn't add on. And Zach is smoking. I'm smoking the Besa Habano Rothschild. Tell me more. It's a Habano. It's a Rothschild. What's a Rothschild? Mine's a Toro. Size. Mine's a it's Mexican like a San Andreas Robusto. wrapper. It's like a Robusto. But short. But shorter. So three inches? About like an inch. Half. It's a half. It's got a tobacco wrapper, tobacco binder, and then tobacco filler. Got a lot of great flavors in there. Uh, like tobacco flavors? Yeah, but more. More than just tobacco, you know. Actually, you don't know because you're not smoking it. If you smoked it, you wouldn't know. 
How do you feel about that? How do I feel about that? I'm smoking my own thing, man. I do my own thing. I don't uh, pay attention. How is your own thing? I don't pay attention to people over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, th- there's this side, Jared. And this is what I'm going to teach you. This is an important lesson. There's this side, the right side, the good side, and then there's that side. I think okay? technically they are on hey, the left side. They're on the left. We're on the right. And there's only one side here. That's good. From you the know? viewer's perspective, you're on the left. I'm so glad to be here. That friend. is a forced perspective, <laughs> just like CNN. You're disgusting. We'll let the viewers decide that. The people are smart enough to make their own decisions. Right hand, left, Alex is that way. <laughs> you did so good, Mark. You answered every question. I just, I just I don't, I don't want to spun narrative when you change the screens. You know what I'm saying? I've never done that once ever. So I just want people out there to know that what side you're on. Right hand, going over here. Left hand, Alex. So left side. Gonna be a lot of editing in this video. <laughs> <laughs> you mirror. You just like mirror it. <laughs> Bro, I'm already ahead of you. You've been mirrored this whole time. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna talk about um, top five cigars. For people to start with when they're getting into this hobby. Okay. So okay. we'll go down one at a time. I don't know what's funny about that. Should I start? Sure. Let him collect his thoughts while you share your first one. Obviously. This is a simple one, guys. Don't say it. <laughs> you get the acid. <laughs> Every video ever we post about that, we get so much comments. No, nah, no, nah, I'm just joking. Probably, I think a good one for me is the Perdomo. 10 year. Okay. Connecticut. That's it. The champagne? Yeah. Okay. Why? It's like it's like light. Still packs like good amount of flavor in it. Um super easy draw. So uh, it's just a good experience overall. Okay. Yep. What about you? It's not my turn. I mean, we'll have to take I'm so glad you didn't skip me. Oh, we get, we get it's done like a conversation. It just makes it way easier if we go in order. Normally, I don't do this, but so I like smoking for my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I think I want to give everyone a fair share of my experience, a little, little bit of taste, a little bit of, a little bit of kick. I would go with a Padron nineteen twenty six, natural or Maduro. Maduro. Damn, that's strong. I happened to buy them last night. To be fair. That was my first cigar ever. Oh, really? See, me and Alex share a little bond here. <laughs> it's not just—it's not just cigars. It's flavor. It's taste. They had, they had the same embodiment. <laughs> Alex knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. So, on that note, we're going to go to the next cigar, which <laughs> just get me. I think that a great cigar to start with. We'll stick to the Connecticut side for now. <laughs> Can you stop? <laughs> you keep making me these faces. <laughs> um, Did that coffee have alcohol in it? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm crying over here. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I'm just so happy. I don't know why. <laughs> Right. The it's, fact that they got us inside a little laughing is a little sus. <laughs> but we're going we're gonna to keep on going. Uh, what do you think, Zach? <laughs> no, no, no. My father, Connecticut. It's also... Your father, why is he in Connecticut? I don't get it. <laughs> it's a cigar, Zach. Oh, my bad. You wouldn't notice because you don't smoke cigars. You're lucky to be a part of this podcast. Smoking right here, brother. You know, I, I got you into cigars, so what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's ask the Corona veterans <clears throat> what they remember. Where are they at? They're not there no more. It's true. Them. Jared said, I never met these people, but I've heard many things. Oh, it was my turn? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, depends. You got money or you don't got money? Okay. Say... Uh, you don't have money. The kid just turned 21. He's finally able to buy a cigar, and he's in a mountain of school loans. So no money. I don't think you should buy. Well, <laughs> if you're in a mountain of school loans, 
might as well just get deeper. Oh yeah, you're right. You know you're what right. I mean? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Right. That's good financial advice. So for that, this I would go advice. with the Davidoff Royale. Or the Royal. I'm gonna have to switch off. I was going to go with the uh, Oro. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, that's that's too much to add on your loans. That's when they start asking questions. I I don't know that from experience, but <laughs> all right. First, no. first, uh, I would probably go with um, let's see, twenty one year old. I would go with the Padron Natural Box Press, which uh, you know, what I'm they're talking all about? Bad. They're all box press. No, I know, but the one that comes in that container. The Presidente? The Presidente, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'll go with the Presidente. Oh, that is good. I haven't had that in a long time, actually. Yeah. That's a good one. I think I think that's a good stick. Yeah. I can see that. My turn again? Already? So soon? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about this next one. <laughs> <laughs> and we have five of them. Uh, five total, right? We already did four, so. Yeah, we just need one more. No, five each. Oh, you didn't say that. Okay, I'm going to go with... um. If we did five total, this would be a very short conversation. I'm going to go with the uh, Aturo Fuente Curly Head. Mm. Very cheap. Mm. Um, it's small, so, you know, if you don't like it, you know, it's small. You just finish it out. You know what I mean? And it's like, what, four bucks? It's like four bucks, yeah. Yeah. Can't beat it. I think yeah. Mark is like, I don't care what they say about you, Mark. You're actually one of the smartest cigar guys sitting here. Hey, man. I smoke a lot. You know? That's true. Facts. Yeah, but, I mean, you're right. You're, <laughs> you're, you're right about that. Though. You know, it's sometimes you don't like something, you just got to finish it off and go to the next one. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, that's what it is, or someone? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm, I'm just saying, saying about cigars. It here. applies to people too. Oh, oh I was just talking about cigars. Oh, oh, this guy's talking. engaged in me saying that. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's wild, <laughs> bro. Your wedding's in like two months. Still, there's still time. <laughs> All right, guys, Alex's wedding is going to be at... <laughs> all right, Jared, what do you think? What if we invited all the cigar guys? 4,000 people showed up. They can stay outside. All right, for like eight fifty, you can get like Gloria Cubana. Oh, uh, yeah. It doesn't have to be Maduro this time, but that's it's true. actually very affordable. And they actually last pretty long, so it's a good like 45-minute smoke. They're pretty good. Very nice. That's true. Good job, Jared. Yeah, you're doing good. I would say if you got like a little more money, like over ten dollars, I would honestly say the Besa Habano, maybe a Rothschild if you're not thinking about smoking for too long. Thirty minutes smoke. Basically, Zach smoking his first cigar right now, testing the waters. It's very. I've never smoked before. Smooth. It's a smooth smoke with a lot of flavor, not harsh at all. So I mean. It's a very good beginner cigar. You get to pick up all those flavors without being overwhelmed. You're not going to get super buzzed or anything like that. Nice. That's that's what I think. Um, I would go with the Besa cigar, uh, the Toro, because if you can't commit to something, <laughs> then you're not really a man. Uh, so, yeah. I was just thinking the Rothschild because, like, for most people, it's a familiar size, more average in the United States. Or at least in Europe. I always thought it was kind of big. That's why I'm like, go big or go home. Gotcha. That's why you get the Toro. You know, I, I can honestly say I've actually never smoked the Besa Rothschild. Yeah, you have. No, no, no. See, this is a Toro. Yeah, but I you, only you, smoke Toros. No, you definitely have Rothschild. You're going to sit there and lie he's, to me? He's a, he's a big Toro guy. You're going to sit there and lie to me when I gave you one last week? Was it on camera? Probably. I'll get the camera footage. No face, no case. No face, no case. <laughs> all right, all right. My next one, this is going to be aimed towards people that smoke cigarettes that are trying to make the switch. Oh. Dude, Mark is on Scientist. top of it. Mark, you're fucking on top of it. Bro, I, I, can't, I, I can't with this guy, dude. <laughs> I just can't. That's Your IQ is too high right now. Please bring it down. I can't do it. I just took an exam. So my... Mark here, I can't do it. <laughs> I just, over, a, I, just a, need him. I just took an exam, so my brain intelligence is sky high right now. Can, can you bring us waters, please? That's all I'm doing. Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to go with a Maduro. Mm. Probably not too spicy. I'm going to go with the Maduro Tabernacle Red Lancero. True. That's a Havana seed. Darker wrapper, but just because it's dark doesn't mean that it's strong. So, so I think it's just got enough nicotine content in there. 
Yeah. So they still feel kind of like that buzz and everything, you know? Yeah. That's definitely a good, like, middle of the road smoke in terms of, like, strength, body, and body. Strength. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But, yeah, that's a good pick, actually. A lot of people love that cigar, too. Yeah, very good cigar. I bought a box of it one time. True. And I smoked half of them. Probably. I think the uh, first box of cigars I ever bought were a box of Monte Cristos. Cubans, of course, and um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, seriously, it was at Corona, and then uh, I forget what to call them. The, the little heat, they have a little heat to them, a little spice to them. You, you bought Monica, a white. So, well, yeah, that one. Yeah, the white series, yes, I have. He and bought a box. Did you buy a box of the... Uh, they're new, called New York or something like that? Oh. They have yeah. a little spice to them. They're pretty good. So you're saying that for the next beginner smoke? Yeah, but you could, I'd go with the yellow series for the beginner smoke. Yeah, yeah. All right. If you like spice, then you can always... Yeah. They're the same price, so. Yeah, Zach's actually inside right now looking at best beginner series. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm so embarrassed right now. <laughs> He's like, I was not fair. <laughs> Neither of us was. I forgot what the topic was until like five minutes ago. <laughs> Are we recording? I sure hope so. I hope so. We've been doing this. All right, what's your next pick? It's a good question. I'm going to throw in another Connecticut because I feel like we've been going. On the darker side, I think that, uh, quite honestly, this might be um, too light for some people, but a lot of new smokers do enjoy it. The Ashton Original. Oh, yeah, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, it's, and it's cheap, too. I think it's still under $10. Yeah. Um, yeah. Connecticut wrapper. Not, probably not as much flavor and very little body, but if you're like, really want to just tip your toe, dip your toes in the whole experience, try an Ashton Original. Zach, what do you think? Yeah, I think uh, an acid blondie. Okay. <laughs> next. <laughs> All right. My next one. Let's say this may not be your first cigar. But all you know is big name brand cigars. Hmm. So now you want to go a little more boutique. Okay. I'm going to say something that's still pretty easy to find. That's not really... Some people still say it's boutique. Some people don't. I would go with the Codwell Blind Man's Bluff. Ooh. Maduro. That's true. That's a good one. And that's Maduro. A good, yeah, and that's a good beginner cigar for anybody, really, because the Maduro isn't too strong. That's true. It doesn't have too much body in it. Actually, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I think all of those cigars would be perfect. Yeah. Connecticut, Habano, or the Maduro. They're yeah. all great flavor. So it kind of depends on maybe what your preference is at the moment. Yeah, maybe like, a bottle would be better for a beginner, like a beginner. Probably, because I think like when I first started, I stuck to what I knew was good for a while. Yeah. And then like a few months when I started smoking more, I branched out a little bit. But at first, I mean, Jared's a testament to this. He only smoked Padron for like a year, his first year of uh, cigars. Yeah. yeah we, th then I met you guys. I ended up saving a lot of money somehow. <laughs> <laughs> and it took three months for us to convince him. It did, yeah. He would not. He would not do it for a while. Do his McAllen eighteen Patrons every day. I got you on the Bovini fourteen, didn't I? Yeah, it's got me in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe he should spend more money. So he, if he spends more money, he gets in less trouble. If he saves money, he gets in more trouble. I thought, I'm not gonna lie. When he gave me um, some of his McAllen eighteen the other day, I forgot how good that is, man. It's really good. It's it tastes like a true like scotch. It's, it, it, it's more. It's leans towards whiskey in a good way. Really, I thought it was sweet and really smooth, like really smooth. What's great about for McAllen? Sure. I know we're gonna like, wait for his answer, I guess. But when you go from McAllen twelve to eighteen, you gotta skip that fifteen because fifteen tastes terrible. It has a weird spice. Fifteen, uh, fifteen is terrible. Yeah. It's a weird back. Like it's like it's like someone spit in my drink or something. I don't know. What's that one McAllen that's below the 12? It's what? It's like below the 12. Oh, like they're a really cheap one or something? Yeah. That is the worst. It's like 11 and a half or something. <laughs> that is the worst scotch I think I've ever had. You think so? Remember we had it. It tasted like straight up ethanol. Where did we have it? We had a Corona. One of the water. Oh, thank no. you. We bought it because it was so cheap. I don't remember that. I got to buy it again. This is probably like, this is probably like, Three years ago. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I definitely don't remember that. 
Jared, it's your turn again. We can skip him. Oh yeah, we gotta go back oh. to Zach. Oh, he answered already. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he, um, he, he can he can give another answer if he wants. I would say. Uh, a Mil Diaz cigar. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I forgot about those. I would say that. I think I, I think it, what's what's the price point right now? Like fourteen, fifteen, something like. It's like ten bucks. Is it, it ten bucks? Yeah, Is that 10, cheap? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, ten dollars cigar. I think that's a good. Uh, it's a good second for a smoke. I think the reason that Zach thought it was more expensive is because he was just buying so many of them. He was looking at the total bill. Facts. Yeah. I, th- I think the Limitada is fifteen or maybe. Oh, I think yeah, you're right. I don't even think it's fifteen, but it's like twelve, thirteen. It's it's definitely over ten, but it's very good. Um. Okay, now Jared. We'll go to Jared. What about Mark? You skipped Mark. No, I said it. We oh. skipped you technically, so we came. Oh, back I was to just you. looking out for Mark. <laughs> it's okay, you got it. I got a lot of good answers. Yeah. You want to hear them? Four solid answers. Can I borrow an answer? No. <laughs> I don't know. On a lighter side, because I only smoke Maduro's mainly. I'm trying to think. <sighs> I want to say Olivia V. Mine series. Because. Oliva Melania V. series. Cool. Olivia. <laughs> Sorry, my, my head was somewhere else. <laughs> <Sent the pot. laughs> okay, cut, okay, cut that out. Okay, that was, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I'd have to, but <laughs> yeah, only you would know why. Yeah, why would you? Because I I said Olivia <laughs> Melania, and I said Olivia Who's V Olivia? series, but it's Olivia Melania. V I don't know series. an Olivia V. Exactly, I, I said it wrong. Okay, it's Oliva. All right, what about you? Ah, uh, let's see. Head in the right place, please. I would say the back to foundation. I think the Olmec Habano. Damn, I was gonna go with that. <laughs> is maybe even a better option than the Tabernacle, just because it's a little smoother. Okay, one one, one cigar, please. I'm just saying it's better. Thank option you, Jared. Than what Mark said. I was, Zach was gonna say Tabernacle next. I was not anymore. Now I can't. Oh, that's what he said. That's I what said Mark said while you're gone. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't. What if I said it before you? You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't know. You don't know that. Yeah. This whole episode is just going to be edited. I'm going to put things before. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got to make the title like Zach Hostile in the morning? Question mark exclamation point. It's gonna be a lot of bleeps. Oh, Zach least. is actually very hostile in the morning, especially as as, Saturday mornings. As soon as I walked in the house, Zach was like on top of me, man. I was like, Yo, can you? Yeah, he was what? <laughs> no, not like that, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Yo, in Michigan, I had to sleep next to this guy. <laughs> I feel bad for you. I'm sorry. No, I, I feel bad for Zach. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I changed your computer password. <laughs> Zach, don't lie to me. The real dumb thing is I changed it back to the same password, which is stupid. But he doesn't know the password. He never did. Why well, I have to change it? You did it. Your caps lock was on. <laughs> Can I tell a story? Yeah, I tell a story. <laughs> We have, we have to tell a story. We're talking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we do have to tell a story. So when we were out in Michigan filming Don Crusoe's and uh, um, Great food. And Church Hills, Church Hills uh, we ended up going out one night. And shout out to Every Chris <clears throat> at Don Crusoe's. He got us into uh, what's his, uh, Z- Zana? Zana. Yeah. So anyway, we go out, having a good time. We're all drinking, whatever. And Jared says something earlier on. He's like, yeah, I can't wait to go home and start coding. You know, at like 2 a.m. And, and I'm like, I'm like, after we've gone out, we've been drinking all day. He's like, he's like, yeah, I'll still code. So come 2 a.m. and we leave the bar. We're waiting for our Ubers, whatever. Um, I'm like, Jared, are you going to go back and code? He's like, he's like, yeah, yeah, I can't wait. I'm like, okay. We go back in our room and Jared just keeps talking. So I was trying to go to sleep. So I'm like, Jared, didn't you say you're going to code? He's like, I am, brother. I'm going to code right now. <laughs> Pulls out his laptop, starts typing in his password, right? <laughs> Couldn't sign in, you know, because obviously we've been drinking all day, you know? <laughs> Couldn't sign in. Comes up to my bed, stands over me, and is like, <laughs> Wake up. Why'd you change my password? <laughs> and I'm like, I didn't change your password. He's like, I can't sign into my computer. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then he's like, you changed my password. Why'd you change it? You told me to code. And now I can't. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, Jay, go to sleep. And he's like, ah, okay. <laughs> and yeah. then in the morning, the morning we wake up, I'm like, 
Jared, apparently I changed your password last night. And then he opens up his computer. He's like, oh, Caps Lock was on. That's why we're playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It was a great time. It was like it just happened yesterday, you know. Despite popular belief, Jared does actually talk quite a lot. But that's after, like, McCown number three. Not three last night. Sure, you are very silent last night. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> that yeah wasn't convincing. convincing you? Huh? That yeah wasn't convincing. Oh, sorry. I dozed off when Alex was talking. <laughs> <laughs> I had uh, uh, whose turn are we at? I think it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to go. Uh, uh, I would say... Um, if you want to smoke a cigar... <laughs> that is the point, yes. I'll go with the Cohiba Blue. Actually, as far as mainstream stuff goes, it's not a bad one. No, yeah, no, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Especially, you know, like that's <laughs> you can find that almost anywhere too. You can find that at Walgreens. They got a Walgreens. That's true. No, yeah, that is true. Uh, you can find a Walgreens. That is very true. Gas station maybe, seven eleven. Maybe a Wawa. Maybe a QT. Very true. Very true. All right, Mark, you're up. <sighs> it's okay. It's the last one. I'm going to go with... I want to go with something more name brand that can be found easily. Just say it. Acid Cigar. Blondie. No, no, no. Zach said that a couple rounds ago. I did. <laughs> oh, you said it when you were gone. <laughs> um... <sighs> Let me think. I'm going to go with Camacho, Connecticut. I think that's an orange band. I think so. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Okay. Solid smoke. Also considered more mainstream, I think. Considered more mainstream. And I, I like their Connecticut because it's got a lot of body for Connecticut. Hmm. It's not like, like a lot of Connecticut, sometimes you smoke and you don't really get much out of it. Yeah. Like the Ashton original. Yeah. Yeah. But this one ha has a good amount of spice to it. So. So Thanksgiving last year, I found this really nice cigar called Red Meat Lovers and I had it on Thanksgiving and it was really good. Did you have it on Thanksgiving? No, but I know someone else who did. <clears throat> yeah. Me. <laughs> That's like the same thing mm. as him having it. Yeah. They look the same. Actually, when we first started hanging out, people didn't people ask if we were brothers? The best is like when every time people were asking for you, it's like, hey, I saw Zach over there. It's like, no, that's that's Mark. Zach's not here right now. Oh, they confuse <laughs> like, us all the time. It's like, why, why don't you just go introduce yourself? Ask him. I don't get it, because Zach's taller and he has longer hair than me. Sometimes. I got the flow going. How, how do I look on camera? Does it look good? Oh, yeah. Actually, it looks pretty good. I got that. Got it didn't look like that 30 minutes ago. <laughs> What are you trying to say? My, yeah, my... bedhead. Well, wait, am I the only one who took a shower before I came out here? Yeah. 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 Well, I'll figure I'm smoking right now, so I don't have to take a shower again. Yeah, but Jared showers like before and after each event. I just haven't showered in like 15 years, probably. There's been times where like <laughs> <laughs> taking taking the liver king approach, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No deodorant either. Well, think about it. Back in the day, like they, they, they didn't did. have showers. Oh, yeah. They you just... know? They did clean though. They went in like water. And, yeah, and they didn't have soap. I'm also like 90 percent sure that like everyone just stunk back in the day. Oh, for sure. Well, if you're healthy like me, some some countries they still do. If you're healthy like me, you never have to use deodorant because I don't. I sweat, but I don't smell ever. You don't use deodorant. Do you, do I ever smell? No. Yeah, because I you haven't been close enough. To Ten showers a day. That's true. You can call what you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's true though. Jared never eats sweets. He never eats like processed food. He's basically the modern liver king. So he we, he process we drink a lot. Of, what? Well, McDonald's periodically, only like at 3 a.m. in his account. Or sometimes I order pizza and send it back home. You know, it's <laughs> <laughs> where, where did that pizza actually go? I feel like every interesting story that comes from Jared happened in Michigan that one weekend. <laughs> That's an exaggeration, but there things was a lot that we, of things. Things that we're allowed to talk about on camera. I, guess. I, I like how people ask that. Or exactly. Ask people if they wanted pizza and everyone said, yeah. And then Zach got the pizza and no one showed up. <laughs> Spent like fucking 50 bucks on pizza. 
And everyone passes out. Zach is the king of spending a lot of money on something for everyone, and then no one eats it. I know. <laughs> I ate it, and then you came in there and ate it in the morning. Yeah, it pissed me off that morning, too. I Saturday morning. morning. It was a Saturday morning. Was it? No, it was a Sunday. No, it was Sunday morning. It's because you text us to wake up. I hear knocking at the door. I was like, man, Alex is really persistent. He comes in. He's like, time to get up. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts eating the pizza. It's like, you could have ate it last night. I passed out. That's everyone's excuse. Passing out. I never said I wanted any. Fuck. Newbies. I, I never said it either, to be honest. I think it was just Brie that said it. It was pretty much just Brie. <laughs> we should have just gone to Coney Island. We should have gone to Coney Island. I yeah, said it. would cool. I said it. I don't know. I'm afraid every time you go to Coney Island, you might get shot, you know? Yeah, but we're in Birmingham. Yeah, that's true. Not Alabama. What's weird is, like, girls wanted to go to the bathroom there, but they didn't want to eat there. Yeah, like, why are you going to go to the bathroom in a place that you're not going to eat at? We should have went to Coney Island. That's, like, the thing up there. We, we were standing outside of it for a while. We can go back. We can't go back. We can't do that. Jared's probably got enough points to fund the whole trip on his credit card. <laughs> Uh, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Jared. I feel like that was pretty straightforward. Uh, no, I'm just joking around. He's like uh, Dave Portnoy. He never uses his points. Does Dave Portnoy never use his points? Does yeah, he, he had like 1.4 million or something. Damn. Yeah. Saving it for emergencies. Yeah, I want cash back, please. <laughs> uh, uh, and I was, I was on a black card, too. That, that's like no bonus points. Yeah, those, their points suck on a black card. Yeah, but if you have a black card, you're not worried about points. That's the thing. I get, yeah, I don't know. I really don't see the value in a black card. Status? I guess. Black. Well, actually, is it heavier now? No, it's Because they, like the they changed the... No, I they, think it is sick. I think platinum. it's still... Metal? It's like the platinum. What's the point? Of what? Having the black card. It's black. I just go to those guys in the UK that custom make the cards. Mm. Yeah. That, those are actually pretty cool. That's what we should do. Instead of getting platinum cars, we should just get like cigar guys. Cars. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'm gonna do that with my company card. No, I can't do that because then you know if I go on vacation, I'm gonna want to use it, and then Alex is gonna be yelling at me for spending our money. Actually, Mark's gonna be the first one to yell. Yeah, I will be. I'll, I'll be the first one to see it. Mark's the first to see it. I'm just gonna yell louder. That's fair. Uh, well, no, no, Mark's no, Mark's. What well, Mark's gonna do? It's gonna be like he's gonna be like who spent who spent five hundred bucks at the Four Seasons, and Alex will be like, obviously it was Zach. Zach, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> that, that's actually very true. I'm like Mark, you didn't have to ask that. We know the answer. Look at this thick ass stem. It happens, bro. That that bee is gonna get buzzed. Yeah. Smoke them out. If you smoke them out, they become unaggressive. Have you seen those videos where somebody will like trap a wasp, put it in the freezer so it like passes out, and then they'll put a string around it? Yeah, and, like, keep it as a pet. <laughs> well, they put him in like a re- in a little arena and fight. Yeah. Whose turn is it? Is it my turn? I yeah, so, yeah. He said red, 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 the meat lover. Yeah, good job. Thank you. Uh, let's see what else is good. Here you go. For a beginner. I would say, honestly, huh. oh, another cheap one. The punch, if you're looking for a little more, a little more body, a little more flavor, the punch classicos are pretty good and they're really cheap. With like the punch cuts? I, th- I feel like those have like a little rougher taste to them. Like if you're not like a avid cigar smoker, I feel like it might be a little, because I was thinking Maybe. about saying the JFR, mm. but that has like a, it's not really a, too refined of a taste. So I feel like for a new smoker, it might be like, it's kind of gross. Maybe. So maybe like, you're still kind of a beginner, but you've been smoking for a few months. Yeah. Consistently. Because they're cheap. Yeah. Yeah. I think of price too. Because I messed up. I gave uh, my cousin Nick a JFR because mm. it's cheap. And I think they're pretty decent for the price. But for a new smoker, they just don't have that like that. But he I used- also loves Padron. So I feel like he would have been okay with it. No, no, he was not. He didn't like, like it at all. Hmm. It wasn't as refined. They're not. And that's the reason why they're a little cheaper, you know? Yeah. I'm going to go with uh, anything from uh, Pastania cigars. <laughs> really? 
I like this, I guess. Yeah. The Connecticut's actually pretty good. Yeah. The Connecticut, I think, would be a good first smoke, I guess. It's actually a good point. Um, they're not, yeah, I don't think they're, uh, even the broadleaf, I don't think it has a lot of body. Yeah. Or strength, I should say. But, yeah, that Connecticut's good. And you know what? A lot of people, a lot of places, um, house cigars are pretty good. It's a good point. Go in. Ask for like their Habano or maybe even the Connecticut if they have it. Yeah. Probably a Habano, I feel like. A lot of house stuff. I was going to say, yeah. Pretty late. That, but I feel like too. And a lot of them are sweet tipped. As far as, ooh, as far as house cigars go, I feel like it's usually like a Habano or something. Something kind of down the middle. Unless they have a big selection. We need to smoke more like bar pool. Barber pool? Barber pool like cigars. That's pretty good. I think they're okay. I'm not Depends. I really want, uh, I really want someone to make a, Barber pole Maduro. I think we should just do it. Two different Maduro leaves. That would be pretty cool. Make it a triple Maduro. We could do a Mexican San Andreas and then... Uh, the true triple Maduro. Uh, and a Connecticut Broadleaf. Connecticut leaf. Broadleaf. Yeah. That would be good. Maybe. What about a quad Maduro? That thing's like so packed. You can do as many as you want. There's no draw. <laughs> I don't think the wrapper would affect that. We should get some samples, but hey, we're looking at another one. <laughs> we could. Barber pulled Maduro and just see how it turns out. Might as well. We need a few different ones, though. We gotta, you know, we're sampling. We gotta get like three different blends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Take more water. Look at this guy. Class. Class. <sighs> That's like one of those. Uh, we upgraded our lighters too. We got the gold ones now. That's like one of those Kool Aid ones. <laughs> yeah. Makes Kool Aid in How's there. How's it taste? I've been ashing in it for like the whole episode. Yeah, you taste. Um, I taste a little bit of cocoa. Uh, <laughs> Leather. A little bit. A little bit of um, burnt tobacco. Almost. No, like, almost that makes like, sense. Yeah. Almost like ashy. Hmm. Like. Three hours after the fire pit goes out. Exactly. And the wind picks up and blows it into your mouth. Exactly. That's a good point. I remember one time I took Zach's Corvette to a bonfire. He was pissed. Yeah, I just, I, I spent the whole morning by Take his car, waxing, buffing that car out. His shirts. And then, yeah, and then he took it to the bonfire. And, you know, of course it's at night, right? So... Comes back home, I go outside, and there was just ash all over the car. Yeah. And it, I think it did some dirt, too, to get that back there. <laughs> so did you clean the car again? No, I yeah, I cleaned it. Yeah, Mark didn't clean it. Why would I clean when I have a little brother? <laughs> you took his car that he just washed and waxed. I don't think it was his car. Just yeah, yet. I think I was still 15. Yeah. But I was driving it. I don't care whose car it was. It wasn't yours. The family's car. That's <laughs> funny. Like the younger the brother, the bigger the brother, right? Yeah, right. It's yeah, so it's, funny. It's like raising the bars. It's true. It's like you know, I I got I gotta be bigger than him. I gotta do something better than him. He's the older brother. Like same with you, right? It's true. What about you, Jared? Oh, hi, brother. <laughs> He's the oldest too, right? Yeah. Interesting. They stopped at two. Is your sister said, taller than you? No. But that makes sense, though. It's female. No, uh, I was just wondering. They are different. Mm hmm. What time are we at? 42. If you count all the stuff we did before, I'm going to count that. <laughs> well, you don't like talking to me? No, I was just trying to gauge. Trying to gauge? I was going to guess that because of how deep in my cigar mm, I am. You should have. We should do that. We should make an episode where we guess the time or how long we've been doing the podcast for, depending on how much our cigars are burned. Okay. Is Jared done? You need another cigar? I guess so. Okay, so Jared smoked an hour cigar in 40 minutes. We well, only slow. know that because he told you that. Right, but he's saying that's pretty slow for you. <clears throat> what, are you what are you trying to say? That it should have been 30 minutes. We still have to get that one cigar and then have me smoke it all day long. The yeah, Woody? The Woody. But now we got the mics to do it. 
Yeah, now we do have the mic. That's to do true. It. We have to order online, right? Because like Corona never has it in. I've asked. They probably have it at Sand Lake or something. Well, uh, what we could do too is have him and maybe one other person mic'd up, so that way when these die, we just switch them, and then the other two will charge. Oh, true. We could take shifts to keep him company. What time would you start? I don't know. Shouldn't take Backtrack. that long. Backtrack. What time is Corona closed? <laughs> shouldn't, take that long. shouldn't take that long. What time is the cl- what time is the Corona closed? That's a six hour smoke, right? I'd probably well for him maybe. Can I see my keys? I think average is like eight to ten. Eight damn. So a backtrack from two AM. So when you've been smoking as long as I have, it's not that big of a deal, guys. <laughs> I wonder if Jared could do it. I don't know if he could complete it. What's my motto? Never give up. Didn't didn't uh Tristan smoke one? Yeah. Tristan Tate? He did. Did he? He finished the whole thing? Yeah. I don't know if he finished it, but he smoked it. I thought so we can make it. a video and like at him and be like, here's a challenge. Well, True. not for me, but uh challenge for him. Who's a, who's a bigger cigar smoker? Jared or, and, or uh, Tristan Tate? I'm obviously bigger, so it's a little easier for me to smoke. Better inhale. You're bigger? I think so, right? Than Tristan? You should make a, when we do it, you should challenge him. Yeah. I think that's what he said. But it's a challenge for him, so. Yeah, like you smoke it and then see how fast he can smoke it, pretty much. I wonder if he'd even see it. It's possible. You got his fans spin. find it? Then we're good. Yeah, yeah. Or just, or just tag it under his uh, one of his tweets. True. The, the, he's pretty active on Twitter. I wonder how much time they spend on Twitter a day. If I reply, like, listen, I'm not watching a 12 hour video, but <laughs> <laughs> stay to stay to the end. <laughs> well, when you put it in the comment, you have to condense it. Yeah, 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 for sure. It'd just be that one section. It's okay. I got to figure it out. We we got the logistics behind it. You just got to do it. We have the camera set up. I'll do it with you. Mike set up. Let's see who smokes it quicker. Uh, Zach is done for. Zach is done for. Zach's what do you mean, bro? I just got to be in Michigan. I got to be in any place that's not Florida. Then I could smoke like 20 cigars a day. That's true. That, yeah, it's very... Yeah. It was weird. Is it Florida or is it just Orlando? Because we could travel like five hours and still be in Florida. That's true. That is true. Like if you go to Miami, that's basically a trip. It's got to be a far enough distance where it's a change in weather. Okay, that's fair. Because I think that's where I peak, is in changes in weather. So you're saying I could smoke it in half the time in Michigan? Well, I'm just saying, I mean... He's saying he can smoke the whole thing. The day where you only smoked, like, one cigar, I smoked, like, five, six. What are you trying to say? Just saying. Yeah, when we're not in Florida, Zach smokes back-to-back. I just stay He's smoking. making up for lost time. He just does not stop. Well, just like Alex plays COD by himself. Maybe you smoke more. <laughs> I, don't actually, I don't play COD you, by myself. You know what I do, actually? The reason I smoke back-to-back <laughs> is because I usually can't find my lighter. So I, I light the cigar. <laughs> with, yeah. Where were we at? Uh, Stanley Corona, we saw a guy hold two cigars in his hand. And he was going oh, back, and forth, back and forth, back and forth. He had one like this, and then the other was right here. So in between his pointer... Middle finger and then middle ring finger. That's so weird. Would you count that as one cigar or two cigars? That's that's two cigars. But it's one or one big section. cigar. That's what I'm saying. Why was he doing that? Maybe he got tired of the flavor. If he smoked a base, he wouldn't have that out. issue. You guys should have talked to him. Excuse me. What is your mentality behind this? Pulled out the camera, just like. So, can you explain why you're holding two cigars? So and people, smoking? I mean, like people do that, like when they're testing blends. Like we should actually do that for our next blend. Like go back and forth, but like that's that. So my thing was like, okay. Well, I, for me, I I would think that it would um, mess up the flavors of both. Yeah, it's just a, it's like a further step. Like once you like evolve, you'll understand. So a true scar smoker like myself, I mew every <laughs> single time I puff. So I'm actually working out my jaw as I smoke. That's true. Are you doing it right now? His jaw is pretty chiseled. I was born this way, thank God. But uh, some people have to work for it. But hey, never give up. That's why we all have beards. Is because if you gazed upon our naked jawline, it'd just be too much. Agreed. We're very modest, humble people. So we don't like to come off as like, you know, too chiseled. We got, you got to tone it down a bit, you know? 
Yeah, uh, Mark, can you go grab my cigar from the butler pantry? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, Alex is right. I mean, I, I don't want to embarrass the people I'm sitting next to, you know. Where were we? Oh, we were at the airport where uh, mom called me. She's like, where is this? I'm like, we're in the lounge. And I'm like, just go in the butler's pantry. And it's like on the right hand side. And Alex looks at me. I'm like, this just, is a fake phone call. He just shakes his head. I'm like, what? I'm like, I'm not lying. It's in the butler's pantry. And then he's like, I know you're not lying, but you sound fucking stuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was like making a fake phone call to like be a, be a rich douchebag. <laughs> but he actually just is. Ugh. Jared thought I was trying to impress that TikTok girl that was there. True. Jared, take notes. I remember my firefighter. Her account got banned. Like uh, shortly after that, I remember my firefighter friends came Jared over here one time. We were playing pool, and he was like, "You have a sprinkler system in here?" I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "Really?" I was like, "Yeah." Is that not common for every new house? He's like, "No." I was like, "Oh, my bad." I thought it was. <laughs> or at least like it's definitely in townhomes and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah townhomes and condos. It's yeah. any building that's over a certain square footage, uh, and townhomes are connected, so. That makes sense. Yeah. Do you ever use the sprinklers? We haven't had to. Thank God. Yeah, knock on wood. <laughs> we don't even got real wood around us. Uh, All the money went to the sprinkler system. Fake wood's more expensive than real wood. <laughs> Is it really? Oh, this composite stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Cause you I, got, I just had the guy handle it for me. You need more support also. Mm. Yeah, otherwise it would bend from the heat. That's true. Or if you have like that fake wicker furniture. Oh yeah, we used, to, we, used to, we used to have a lot of that. We got rid of it though. Actually, even composite wood has a wood particle in it. That's my letter. What's wrong with yours? Out of gas. I didn't purge. Ah. I didn't purge it when I filled it. See, that's the difference between me and you. Because I actually know what I'm doing. Well, the thing about me is that like I get people to fill my cigars. So, so why is it not filled? Because I try to do it myself. I try to be proactive. But... Well, I got someone to fill my cigar, but he, it was you. I'll... Yeah. He, uh, uh, yeah. Our, our guy had to take off today. It is Saturday. Well, he usually works Saturdays. Oh, huh. This is his daughter's quinceanera, but we're going to fire him because of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, why are you leaving us for your, your daughter's quinceanera? Makes no sense. <laughs> can, can we vote on this? Like, I, I kind of like him. How about, being a... I'm starting to vote on Kiki. You out now too because of that. Well, it's all fairness. It's 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 Alex's cousin. So <laughs> <laughs> honestly, Mark, if we all vote on it right now, you can kick me out. I'll leave. All right. Who's voting on Alex being out? I'm not gonna lie. I I'm not I gonna lie. Like <laughs> I, I was a little scared. You know, I'm like I got a meeting last week i see like zach leaves the group chat i'm like oh my god you guys are really fi- taking it way too far <laughs> fighting you were annoying me that day <laughs> that's fine you annoy like, me every other day i almost called zang my like, hey man what's going on jared thought the jared's friend- about to call me are, are, are we good are we good <laughs> jared legit thought the friendship was gonna end he was like are you guys good i'm like yeah, yeah oh you asked me that too you're like so are you and i was like good I'm like yeah, why? We're, like, we're, all, we're all we're fucking going to like scars in the ab, like going to. <laughs> and and they, they're both they're both but, talking. They're like, yeah, you and Mark need to. I'm like, dude, like <laughs> this was well, like last, three days ago. Well, last week I was pretty drunk. I was at a house. I was, I was a huge speech. I'm like, hey man, just so you know, I don't think Mark. No offense. He, he, like no offense. To you, say no is, offense, but I think like Mark is taking this seriously, and I think you're making a joke. You need t- you need to calm it down a little bit. No offense. I'm paying all this data. What I'm trying to say is only the text messages. No, 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 you don't understand. What I'm trying to say is. Alex, you don't understand. Well, Alex was doing all this also when um, I had my final exams coming up for like two classes. So. Oh, yeah. I, I turned. <laughs> You're welcome. I motivated you. I turned into an absolute like douchebag during finals. Like, I would. Sh- That's true. I didn't want to hang out with him. That's true. Yeah. I was like, let me know when you're done with your semester. No, no, legit. Like, yeah. Alex would text that. Like, <laughs> like you know, it was your last me day, and, May. Me and Adam, it'd be like a week. And he's like, let me know when you guys know what finals. Like, all right. You know, so I'm trying to be like, you know, I'm always a nice guy. I'm like trying to change the subject. And then you guys are still bickering back and forth. I'm like, guys, I'm reading my text. <laughs> <laughs> we can't just stop. I'm like, fuck you, Jared. <laughs> but just like Alex and I, Alex and I got into an argument because he dropped the ball 
and then he called me out for dropping the ball. And then, like, we're, like, yes, arguing on the phone. And then I'm, like, what are you, what are you doing right now? He's, like, I'm a corona. I'm, like, all right, I'll see you in nah, like that didn't even happen. He just showed up. Oh, yeah, I did just show up. When the first fight, I was, like, well, technically, in theory, he was in clear water, right? So he didn't know how much the spool actually cost. But Zach has told us it was, it was $20. I think there's a major, a major miscommunication when you said. I think you also take the arguments you have too seriously. I, I was the first one. I ha- I took a shit <laughs> with no coffee this time. But sometimes you guys talk about things when I'm not there, and then you just automatically assume I know about it. That is true. The airport thing. I brought that up with Alex. What airport thing? You go to the airport. That's what started it. Okay, but again, I knew he didn't know. Is it presumption or assumption? My thing was. Zach said he has an interview. Assumption. At, my thing was Zach said he has an interview at two a.m. and you're like, oh, with what company? <laughs> I'm like, Mark. <laughs> yeah, were you talking around with that? That was awesome. I, I was, was thinking about that. I was like, maybe it's like. Uh, See, Top that's why I got <laughs> upset. I was like, Mark, even three hours behind at two a.m. Oh yeah, you're right. I, I didn't know the time. Well, maybe it was Alaska, Australia. Could have been Alaska or Hawaii. Six hours. I guess it's possible. Seven hours, something like that. If they're still working at like seven, sure. You never know. People work. He's like, Mark didn't know. I'm like, that's not the point. <laughs> He's like, that's what started it all. I'm like, uh, I don't know. Anyways, I don't like when you guys argue. Sorry. They're like the kids and we're like the parents. I'm, I'm we're supposed like to be arguing in a car ride. I'm supposed <laughs> to be the one arguing with everyone. That's like my thing. We're like arguing. That's why he got mad. Yeah, I guess because he wasn't involved. We're like arguing in the car ride and the kids are crying in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I wasn't even actually mad. I was just trying to get you guys. The adults stuff. are talking. Yeah, obviously. And then Jerry freaks out. He left the group chat. It's all over. I stopped applying for a while. I'm like, okay, obviously, cool heads prevail, but everyone needs to calm down. <laughs> calm down, everybody. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh. Good times. No offense. Jerry drank like three doubles in that. What is that? What's vibrating? Oh, yeah. What is vibrating? Oh, that fan? No. Uh, probably. It's under here. Who's down there? Yeah, it feels like a feels like a phone or something. Oh, I bet you one of the phones is uh, getting a text or call. It's possible. Oh, maybe, probably. All right. Well, should we cut it? Do you want? Actually, no. I don't think we should. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Cigar Guys. Make sure you guys like, follow, subscribe. Make sure you turn on that notification bell and follow us on X, Instagram, and all the major platforms. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. That's how I'm hitting it. Are you sure? Yeah, you want to add anything? Jerry, you want to add anything? Today was a good day. <laughs> Only at scar number two on camera. So we'll get to number seven today. We need to order that cigar so I can smoke it. And yeah, I think after that, I think it's pretty good. What do you think? Good day. What I'm trying to say is, no offense, but you're not understanding. That's number one. Number two. (laughs) (laughs) Go on. I was just... uh, I I, I just don't think we can talk about Matt Booth episode. It's so funny. What? The Matt Booth episode? What about it? So funny. It was a funny episode. Go watch it. Go watch it. Episode 77. That was a really good episode. Did you ever respond to his text? Yeah, you know, you know, about it. Sore subject. You said the same thing? What did I told you to say? Yes. Oh, okay. He's like, oh, wrong person. All right, catch you all later. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Cigar Guys podcast. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the latest episodes. Looking for short-form content? Check out all our social media accounts in the description below. And now, a final word from our sponsors. <laughs> God damn it. I'm going to say it's the next Tesla guy. In the, I uh, see. I'm not safe at Corona. I'm not safe here. <laughs> not safe anywhere. Oh, what do you guys want to smoke? Uh, whatever. Whatever you want to give. <laughs> I want a Tristan. Actually, yeah. 
Well, that's was, too bad. You left, and we were still there. Exact. I still didn't even finish that fucking cigar because it just one? was torpedo. Oh, this one, yeah. I knew it. Well, what do you guys want? We got Tristan, and then let's take a base of Maduro. <laughs> I'll take whatever you don't want. <laughs> it's a go-to. I mean, I, I could. I don't. I don't know. So if you want the Tristan, take the Tristan. But if you don't want that, I'll take it. Do you want the Tristan? Whatever you don't want. I don't want to take something that you want. I'm fucking talking to my girlfriend right now. <laughs> you want to bite? No. Okay, okay, okay. Well, okay, I- okay, all right. <laughs> Guess which one I'm going to pick. <laughs> <laughs> you see, this is, there you go. <laughs> Damn it, I didn't want that one. I didn't ask for it. I didn't ask for it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Guess what we're going to eat today. <laughs> this shit don't work. I tried that one. She's like, oh, I don't know. Uh... Um, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I walk in, I walk into the house and, uh, I'm like, Mike's like, where do you need to go? I'm like, bathroom. His mom immediately goes, you don't want to go to the I'll be right back. I gotta, spray I, gotta, I gotta go grab my, I gotta go grab my cigar cutter. I'll be right back. What? You, I feel like oh, he's gonna Wait, go leave your mic, the mic leave on. Your mic. Leave your mic. What? No, I, I won't. It's not mic. gonna connect that far. <laughs> no, well, he does. It will. How far? 2.4 gigs. So it's just, it's the same thing as a Wi Fi or Bluetooth. I don't uh, believe that. So, yeah, it'll connect. It does. We'll find out. What's he grabbing? What are you grabbing? He said uh, his cutter. Cutter? Wait, put the headphones on. He, he got some special kind of cutter, I guess. Put the headphones on. Why? Who? Where? Put the headphones on and plug him into the uh, the thing. See what he's saying. Oh, no, he does it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I bet he bought some special kind of cutter he didn't tell us about. Probably. I thought he was making a joke. I thought he was going to go inside and be like, hey, guys. <laughs> He comes with the, like that uh, five hundred dollar Opus X one. Oh my god! Speaking of, that's what I'm. I'm smoking the Tristan Habano, which is where we saw Churchill cigars, where we saw that uh, insane scissors from uh, Opus yeah. X. Yeah, Corona had that though for a while. They did have that too. Yeah. What are you smoking? Can you smoke? <coughs> the Besa cigar. All right. What does this guy have? You got a cut. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are we recording? No, we should be recording. Are right? we recording? Yeah, we are. Okay, good. He's got a sword or something. 